give the floor to the International Service for Human Rights, please, for a joint statement. Thank you, Mr. President. This is a joint statement. We stand in solidarity with defenders in Ukraine, as well as those in Russia and around the world striving for peace, justice, and accountability. We welcome the Council's swift response to Russia's aggression against Ukraine, setting up a strong accountability mechanism. In the weeks since, Ukrainian defenders documented Russian violations that may amount to war crimes, including indiscriminate attacks, forced deportations, abductions, disappearances, and targeting of political figures, journalists, civilians, and civilian infrastructure. Every human rights situation must be dealt with on its merits, with the Council ensuring a principled and consistent application of international law and standards. It is imperative that the Council uses all available tools to ensure the fulfillment of the inalienable right to self-determination of the Palestinian people as a whole struggling against Israel's apartheid. This Council must also urgently act to dismantle systemic racism in border control and migration governance. All human beings crossing European borders from Ukraine are fleeing the same dangers. We deplore the discrimination and the violence against Africans and other racialized groups fleeing Ukraine, as well as the different approach taken towards refugees fleeing other conflicts. We welcome the adoption of the Resolution on Human Rights Defenders, and we stress that recognizing and protecting defenders involves not only their holistic and security protection, but also recognition of the important work they do in conflict and post-conflict situations. We also welcome the reference on arms transfers, but regret no substantive references in the OPs and no references to child defenders. We welcome the adoption of the resolutions on disinformation, countering terrorism, economic, social, and cultural rights in COVID recovery, Belarus, Iran, Myanmar, Nicaragua, and South Sudan. However, we regret that the Council failed to respond to several human rights situations, including Algeria, China, Egypt, and Russia. Finally, we call on the General Assembly to suspend Russia's Council membership for committing widespread, gross, systematic violations, some amounting to war crimes. Thank you.